The COVID-19 pandemic has hurt a lot of businesses all across Maine. We've talked a lot about that. Some have even been forced to close, but we've also seen how it has increased business for some companies. New Center Maine's Alex Haskell is here this morning to show us how during this pandemic there is a big market for tiny homes. Good morning, Alex. Hey Sharon, good morning. So inside this old airplane hangar on the outskirts of the Holton International Airport, you can find tiny homes of Maine and that business is booming. Orders have doubled since the pandemic. Tiny Homes of Maine founder Corrine Watson says sales have gone from three to six orders a month. We are delivering throughout New England and we have had requests as far as California. Watson's success hasn't come without challenges. Last year, business stopped production altogether when the state stopped issuing titles for tiny homes. They didn't fit the RV definition. They didn't fit a mobile home definition. They were somewhere in between. So we had to, to modify the law to accommodate them because they're, quite frankly, a new phenomenon. Then in March, LD 1981 was passed by the state legislature, defining a tiny home as a living space permanently constructed on a frame or chassis and designed for use as permanent living quarters. Quarters that could work for anyone that wants a tiny home. Um, there's no type of person. With titles being issued again, folks are going tiny for different reasons. One customer bought this home for her massage parlor business. You don't have to be a minimalist. Uh, we have we have a lot of clients that have a lot of belongings. And don't let their size be deceiving. These tiny homes are built to withstand harsh climates. Especially northern Maine winters. Demand is so high for these tiny homes. Watson says that if you were to order one right now, it could take up to eight months before you'd get it. Live in studio this morning, Alex Haskell, New Center, Maine.